Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 55567 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2013 Toyota Camry. We estimate this installation to take 15 minutes to 30 minutes depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the installation. Begin by opening the trunk, followed by disconnecting the negative battery cable to ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system. Begin by removing the fasteners holding the rear scuff panel in place. Use a screwdriver to help pop out the plastic fasteners. Remove the plastic trunk liner, followed by the scuff panel. And finally, remove the felt trunk liner and the spare tire tray. On the passenger side, locate and remove the plastic fasteners holding the felt trim in place. Be careful not to lose them, as they will be reinstalled. Pull back the felt trim liner to reveal the taillight wiring harness. Repeat this process on the opposite side. On the driver's side, locate and separate the taillight wiring harness connectors and insert the Kurt wiring harness with the yellow and red wires in between the vehicle's taillight connectors. Make sure all connections are secured. Route the Kurt connector with the green wire along the rear of the vehicle to the passenger side and repeat the same process. Make sure all connections are secured. Locate a suitable mounting location for the white ground wire like we have done here with an existing factory grounding point. Alternately, you can sand a small patch of the frame to remove any paint and to ensure great metal-to-metal -metal contact. Drill a 3 32nd inch pilot hole into the sanded area and secure the white ground wire's eyelet with a supplied self-tapping screw. Prepare the black power wire by stripping one end of the power wire and inserting the stripped end into the yellow butt connector. Crimp this section together. On the inline fuse, remove the ends that have been pre-stripped. Insert one end of the red inline fuse wire into the yellow butt connector of the black power wire. Crimp this section together. Finally, remove the remaining pre-stripped end of the red inline fuse wire and crimp the yellow eyelet to the inline fuse wire. Remove the accessory nut on the positive battery post. Place the yellow eyelet of the prepared black power wire over the accessory post and refasten the nut. Route the black power wire down through the engine bay and underneath the vehicle. Stay away from extreme heat sources and moving parts. Underneath the vehicle, route the black power wire to the rear of the vehicle, using the supplied zip ties to adhere the power wire to the brake and fuel lines, if possible. Keeping in mind to stay away from extreme heat sources and moving parts. Gain access to the trunk area by way of a rubber grommet. Feed the power wire through this access hole and reseal the grommet. Customizing the grommet to accommodate the power wire is recommended. Measure and cut the excess power wire. Use a supplied yellow butt connector to attach it to the stripped end of the power wire. Insert the black power wire from the black inverter box and crimp the butt connector, making sure a strong connection has been made. Find a suitable mounting location for the black inverter box. Use the supply of double sided tape to adhere the converter box.
Replace the felt trim liners followed by the scuff panel and the remaining trunk items. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Install the 10 amp fuse into the red inline fuse holder. Be sure to test your new wiring harness with an electrical tester or a properly wired trailer. This completes the installation of the Curt 55567 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2013 Toyota Camry. Conquer new trails with a Curt bike rack. Now you have the power to bring it. Curt, the first name in towing products.